So today was a very slow news day, and for that reason, I've chosen to instead um, talk about. Sorry, there's a little message coming up. The newest episode of Dragon Ball Super. This is what 54. Um, I thought it was all right. You know, I, I was bothered by um, the absence of several you know main characters: Piccolo, Krillin, Gohan. I, I expect Gohan to just be completely gone from this storyline, but I, I felt Krillin had a little, you know, alright support and role to play. Um, it just kind of bothers me that, like, all of the characters from Z and the original series at this point are just kind of, like, if they're not relevant, they're just not there at all. Um, except for Goku and Bulma, which I guess, in a way, it's alright, but still. And I get the whole, you want to see new characters and everything, but give me at least somebody. You know, you have to have everyone, but just... One or two guys, that's all I'm asking for. I thought they were doing that with both Piccolo and Krillin. Um, but the one thing that this arc has just been really good at is focusing on someone other than Goku and Vegeta, who I've, I've had an issue with this entire series at this point. I, I really liked um, you know, the whole interaction between Trunks and Vegeta this episode. I thought... That transformation, I'm surprised they brought back uh, the Ascended form, just because I, I didn't, you know, what's the point of even using that anymore? Uh, but it served its role in the plot, you know, decently. And what bugs me the most about just, you know, not knowing what's going to happen, which has been the case with pretty much every part of Dragon Ball since before this, because, you know, this is new uh, for the first time ever. Is that, and I'm, I'm just saying we had a long time with no new content, so that's all I'm getting at uh, with that statement. I was really sort of conflicted on whether or not, what what, they're, what they will do with Trunks, let's put it that way. Because on one hand, I see them, you know, giving him uh, a new form, whether it be Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan or... Uh, even Super Saiyan 3, which I still, I'm kind of doubtful about if they'll even use that ever anymore uh because I, I my whole thing is i don't see them having him for this story and not giving him something to do and i know people are yo in the cell saga he didn't really do anything anyway other than get beat around and all of that but still i just i feel as if they'll give him some new transformation uh and i'm hoping that super saiyan blue you know either one i, I, I can interchange between that and super saiyan god super saiyan only because the latter is more of a mouthful now, the Zamazu stuff was alright. I'm liking his character so far. They really... I'm I'm just kind of going back and forth between whether or not he's he's black. Uh, because black had one green batar ear and now he had one briefly. I don't know. It could, it could go either way. And that's really a story that obviously we'll see in the coming weeks. But I'm just... I'm very curious about that. So, lastly... And I guess the bigger part of this uh, was Goku coming back to Earth, which was good. I thought he was going to be gone for, you know, five or six episodes or something, like, just a whole bunch of filler. So it's a nice change of pace to just have some, oh, we'll go here for an episode and we'll be back in this episode. That was nice. Um, my issue kind of comes from the ending where, you know, the whole little cliffhanger thing. And I, and I know, you know, those are supposed to be exciting and wonderful but they're going into, uh, what was it, the, the God of Gods and all. I just I don't care. Let me get back to my story. I just want to 